what do you think are ways to better educate infertile couple about available assisted reproduction services? Best is a web training nowadays because most of our patients in India, around 60 to 70 percent patients who come to us are educated. So best way is web training. But web training is not possible for all the places or all the people. In such cases, we can have television interviews all over the India, radio interviews because radio is heard by even the rural population. So radio interviews, television interviews, you can have seminars which are for the public seminars, public meetings in women's organizations, something like that should be arranged so that you can dissipate the knowledge to the infertile people. You can have camps. We in India do have uh, free camps for patients of infertility. During that camps, when we take the history, we talk to them personally and educate them. These are the various ways we can train uh, people about this infertility problem. And we can tell them, give them the hopes, tell them, yes, you can get the treatment and you can become parent. How would you improve fertility training programs for embryologists and laboratory professionals? Uh, this is very difficult in India, but in India now we have FOXI, Federation of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of India, which has got infertility department also. They can have such training center, centers. Then we have Indian Society of Assisted Reproduction, which is a parent society for infertile uh, infertility practicing doctors. And they should have, they should identify centers around maybe 20, 25 centers in India. And they should have modules of training. And they should, uh, they should send people for uh, embryology training. But not only in India, when such meetings are there, like Global Fertility Society you are having, so such people should keep give them training in different countries as well. That is the best way I think embryologists can be trained. How can a system of patient referral to fertility clinics be improved in India or within the region? First of all, India has got an advantage. India we have egg donation very easy, embryo donation easy and surrogacy is very easy in India. Uh, I do not think you require other patients to be referred because every uh, region has got their best centers. But for such cases like egg donation, embryo donation, sperm donation, as well as uh, surrogacy, patients can be referred to India uh, via email, via telephone, via um, all other web things or via services, you know, international services. Uh, such, can, such cases should be referred to India because India is open for such treatment because some countries, Muslim countries do not have these things available. And the Muslim women who are having menopause at the earlier stage, premature ovarian failure, they need eggs. We all in this region look alike so they can hire eggs from India. This is the way India should be a tourism hub for medical tourism. Is there anything you would like to say to your colleagues? that has not been discussed during our interview today? Uh, I would say that uh, giving individualized treatment to the patient is very important. Dissipating knowledge about infertility is very important. Making cost-effective treatment is very important. So that companies should come down on their prices as much as possible. As the centers improve and companies have more and more sale, they should come down on their prices. So if they come down on the cost, this treatment will be given to each and every person who needs this treatment. Thank you.